America used to be the place where a couple of individuals in a garage could come up with something that could change the world and then proceed to do it. I hate to have to inform you that that has changed. Those innovative startups that did change the world have now become multinational corporations and they've used their political influence to make it so that they don't have to face disruptive competition. They've gotten laws passed that have made it virtually impossible to stop them from simply taking something invented and patented by a small entity. This is the opposite of what caused America to take the lead in worldwide innovation and to hold on to it for a couple hundred years, and what made America so different and so much more successful than the rest of the world. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, I don't have any patents, why should I care about this? Well, certainly the canary in the coal mine is the inventor and the innovative small business. They're going first. But as multinational monopolies grow, they end up affecting virtually all small businesses and virtually all people. I mean, when was the last time you saw a neighborhood hardware store? This is very bad for America. Not only is it taking away a key part that created this country, but it's making it very hard for America to compete in the world. China and other countries are threatening to take the lead in key future technologies because our real innovators are blocked. There is one group that is fighting to turn this around, U.S. Inventor. I'm Randy Landrino, President. We are totally dedicated to the restoration of the rights of inventors and innovative small businesses. We're working on many fronts, and what you can do to help us is get this message out far and wide and also sign our resolution at usinventor.org and get others to do the same. This is a fight that every single person who cares about America should be part of. Thank you.